Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say everything again, but uh, I do want to say happy 25th uh, to all of the people in the compost project, but this was also real dedication and vision about seeing that sites within the city that had really not been efficiently used could really be used to make it so that we are creating this material right here in Queens, from the material in Queens. And also what I have always found is when you give people the ability to come and be educated and see it move from one stack to the next and really close that loop, they get why we do these things. They get why we ask them to separate. They get why we ask them to do recycling. But it is really often only at the compost project where you can see waste become tomorrow's tomato. I mean, that is really what we see happening across the city. Um, and Big Reuse and Justin would have been critical partners in our efforts to continue to grow community composting. Uh, this is a really quite technically sophisticated site. Uh, I just want everyone to notice, there's really no odors here. We have waste on this site, and there are no odors here. Um, and it has been also, obviously, a coordinated project with the Department of Parks and First Deputy Commissioner Liam Cavanaugh is here to celebrate with us. Uh, but I am just super excited to have Grow NYC and the Compost Project and Big Reuse and all of my staff who are so committed to making us the best, strongest organics program in the country. And so this is one piece of our broader plan, which is currently serving three and a half million people at the curb every day. Um, it's exciting. As I'd like to say, that combined program of Portland, Seattle, San Francisco, all those folks who everyone says are leading the charge, well, we're just going to do it bigger. Um, so I'm going to pass the mic off back to Margarita. And, but can we also give a round of applause for Benny and the Lawn and Leaf Pack? <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner Garcia. All right, so I think I'm actually handing the mic back to Erica or Charles. Oh! We're going to be making the way for Justin Green, who is our executive director, to come up and to introduce the next speaker. And I would like to just let you guys know that um, Justin Green has been uh, the founder of um, Build It Green, and I'm sure you can. And now they agree. Thanks, Erica. Uh, thanks, everyone, for coming out. Um, thanks everyone for coming out. This site, uh, not so long ago, was full of construction debris and abandoned construction equipment. Um, and through our partnership with the Department of Sanitation and Parks, I have transformed it into what you see now, which is a cutting edge uh, composting site. We have cutting edge technology from Sustainable Generation, um, great uh, new office from Low Tech. But the, the Really, the focus is is the amount of care and effort we put into building the site here and keeping it contained. It's covered. There's a core cover that covers the compost. It, there's a computer that monitors the ventilation going in. Um, there's drainage that captures anything coming out to make it a really clean site um, and make it a good partner for the community. And with our all the composting we do here, we give compost away to over 200 community groups. Um, we gave. 180 cubic yards back to parks um, each year that happens. So this is like not only keeping uh, food scraps out of the landfill, fighting climate change, but it's helping to improve the soils in this neighborhood, in our community. So it has so many environmental impacts on multiple levels and um, helps green the community. So it's been great to be part of this and see it grow from a community garden Compost bin in you know 2009 2010 um, to this nine years later and to see the city follow that up and with doing curbside throughout the city so it's amazing to see the progress um, that Department of Sanitation um, has done in improving the sustainability and recycling and composting across the city in the past couple of years it's been fantastic to see and be part of that so we're really proud of what we're doing here <clears throat> and the team that runs this site um, is amazing. Uh, Leah, Charles, Erica, Gil, Devin, uh, Shakara, 
and Altman are incredible team. Really, yeah, thank you. Really incredible team. And for putting this together with a lot of work, we're excited with a lot of work, but with just keeping this organized and getting the community support and getting the compost out, they've done an incredible job. So, super proud of all their work. Um, and uh, we also, with, you know, in the community, we've had some great partners uh, from the Soil Bank, provided soil to The New York uh, City Office of Environmental Remediation and the Clean Soil Bank, which provided clean soil to help remediate the soil here, wanted to thank them. Um, and the Western Queens uh, NYCHA, uh, and especially Queensbridge Houses, which we've been really working with and looking for other ways to partner with. So we're really excited about their participation um, in our project. And, the food, and everyone that drops off food scraps and everyone that uses the compost. So it's a, it's a really big uh, partnership and web uh, participation. Thanks, everyone. Um, and I want to uh, introduce um, uh, First Deputy Commissioner Lee Kavanaugh. One of the other main partners is Parks. You know, this certainly would not have been happening without Parks. And we get all the leaves and wood chips from, uh, from, the Queens, uh, from the Queens District 1 and 2. And we get wood chips from uh, Cunningham Park. And we give that uh, compost back to Parks. So we're really proud of that partnership and how we've developed it over the years and how Parks is. Uh, all their moves toward greater sustainability. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Justin. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to what we call Baby Queens Ridge Park, uh, the real Queens Ridge Park across uh -huh. the street. This is the baby, and I'm delighted to see it put to such great use by Big Reuse. Uh -huh. It wasn't that long ago that, you know, Big Reuse was on the other side of that building. They had their food scraps on the asphalt with a tarp covering it. We were a little you know, wondering how that was going to turn out, but it turned out to be a wonderful thing here in Baby Queens Ridge Park. We've worked with them for years, collecting leaves, tending to street trees throughout this community, uh, and now with this great new facility, it's only going to bring composting here in Western Queens to another level. So I congratulate Justin, the Bigger Use Organization and Sanitation, for making this possible. It's a great use of this space. And I also want to thank the New York City Compost Project Happy 25th birthday. We in the Parks Department uh, have, been, have benefited from that program so much, I can't tell you. We provide the raw materials in, in many cases. As Justin mentioned, we provide leaves and wood chips. Uh, we get a lot of the finished product. We use it in gardens and parks and tree beds all over the city. They've trained our staff to be master composters. It's been a great thing for New York City. It's created healthier soils, it's strengthened stewards all over the city, and it's brought communities together in, in really significant ways that wouldn't be possible without something like the New York City Co uh, Compost Project. So thank you, congratulations to Big Reuse, thank you New York City Compost, and enjoy this beautiful day. So I want to introduce uh, uh, Majority Leader Van Bramer. Um, and thank him for all of his work. We've been in his district um, now working for, uh, since the start, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I actually am from Western Queens, and um, I just wanted to let you guys know that Jimmy Van Bremer and his team have been phenomenal in helping a lot of people in the neighborhood do important work and get, um, get results. So we're really happy to know that he likes compost and that he actually has. Background. Is it true? You compost in your backyard? <laughs> Big up to compost. So if you don't mind, would you come in like Thank you. First of all, stay here. Um, uh, you all should uh, give a big round of applause to Justin and Erica for the amazing work that they do. And uh, I just want to say I never thought this many people would come out for a ribbon cutting uh, for a compost uh, situation. This is really, really impressive, so I want to say thank you. I also want to say I've been a council member for nine years, taken thousands of photos and lots of photo ops. Never one as cool as this. I totally have to get a photo with uh, Benny and the lawn and leaf bag situation after this is over. Um, <laughs> I just want to also say very quickly, uh, there is no project as good as this that could be as good as it can be if it doesn't include our public housing communities. Uh, and we are in the shadow of the Queensbridge houses, 
So I want to thank uh, Justin and Erica for making sure that our public housing residents are a part of this project and are being a part of everything good that's happening here. I also want to thank Sheila Lewandowski from Community Board 2. Evan O'Neill is a great friend. Uh, Sugar Ray here is with his impossibly adorable daughter uh, who's taking some photos, a uh, Queensbridge resident as well, for all that they're doing. And just say, one of the reasons that I'm such a big supporter of the programs, a funder of the programs, uh, is because my husband is an environmentalist and he is an amazing guy who, uh, uh, thank you for the thumbs up for my husband. Rock on. <laughs> Yesterday was National Coming Out Day, so it's never, ever a bad time to celebrate the gays. <laughs> Especially the gays who compost. Um, it's a good thing, right, Commissioner? Yeah, so I want to thank uh, uh, all of the commissioners, my colleague Ben Kalos, uh, visiting from uh, Roosevelt Island and the east side of Manhattan, uh, and also just say that we were talking earlier today about whether or not it would be okay to come dressed not in a suit uh, to this event, and my staff said, dude, you're going to a compost event. Um, it's okay not to be in a suit today. So uh, thank you for everything you're doing to make Western Queens and Queens and New York City a better place to live, a more sustainable place for the future. I really appreciate all the work that you guys are doing. Thank you all very, very much. ways to get here is through Jimmy Van Bramer's district right here in Queens. So how many of you have been to Roosevelt Island? Amazing. We have great parks there. Please come by. You can ride the tram to Manhattan. It's a blast. And we're so glad to partner with you. I want to thank Council Member Jimmy Van Bramer for hosting this site in this district. He's absolutely amazing. I know all of you already know that. Can we give him? And also, since we're doing the shout out to his husband, a huge round of applause. Caucus, which I have the privilege of uh, co-chairing. He's been a member going back to the first time they founded it. They got it founded before I even came into the council. And one of the things we're working at is zero waste. That is something that this commissioner, yes, Kathy Garcia, is committed to. Uh, but the issue is diversion. And we can't get this done without all of you and sites like this. And I'm also a new parent, and there's a phrase which is, this isn't our world, we're borrowing it from our children, and so we need to make sure that as we put waste out, that's not all we're leaving behind. We want to leave the world better than we found it, and this is a huge step in the right direction. I also want to thank the Parks Department, uh, Commissioner Kavanaugh, for making use of this and making sure that we can get it out to all the trees throughout the city, as well as Justin Green and the Executive Director here at the Big Green and uh, big initiatives for having me here and doing all the work day in, day out. Can we give all the volunteers here a huge round of applause? And I'm just hoping that we can all follow uh, Councilmember Ram Bramer's example and bring composting into our homes. I hope that we can work with our sanitation commissioner to bring composting to every home in the city of New York and make use of sites like this. Thank you. Ready to do the ribbon cutting? Is that, okay. <laughs> we have to just 
just the ribbon. Uh, <laughs> we have scissors. We're not climbing. My team. Can my team come up there? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for coming. We're going to do another tour. I also wanted to say thank you to Low Tech. They designed our new office. There's food inside of the office. Check it out. Uh, there's swag. There's information over there. We're doing some stewardship up front. Please hang out and enjoy yourself for the rest of the time.